bills. Right, let me in. Hang on, you little raptors. Spin the camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, probably see a chain hanging down here. What you got to do? Tie it up to that and, uh, well, there you go. Impatient little darlings. Good morning YouTubers, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Uh, I've got a few videos to show you today. Um, we're inside the greenhouse because it's very noisy outside and uh, well earlier on this week we removed all the um, chilies out of this greenhouse, uh, f took all the plants, threw them away, um, we collected all the chilies so I'm going to show you the selection of the chilies outside what we did like I said, I think it was a couple of days ago. So just check these out, guys. Well, these are the, the last of the chilies from the, the front greenhouse. Um, what we're going to be doing with these, we're going to be freezing them all in freezer bags. Uh, I haven't got a stick, I can point out some of them. Um, these are... Let's see what these ones are. Then one's a Zimbabwe in black, say, on this end. Then we've got Cayenne. We've got um, these are Prairie Fire. Um, these are Hot Shakira, Peruvian Lemon Drops, Alapenos. Then one's over there, a Mohawk, Caspian. Then one's a Peruvian. Um, Peruvian. Oh, Hungarian paper lanterns of summer. These ones are hot chic. These are um, Brat Jolska, the ghost pepper. Uh, we've got some of the uh, red skins, Hungarian, and some Eng Hungarian blacks as well. And this is what we was left on the, the plants, but we've removed them all now. And um, this was just what was left. We've had about five harvests. This is the last harvest from the, the front greenhouse, so we won't be getting any more out of there. But all these will either be dried or frozen or pureed, one or the other. Uh, so, uh, yep, yeah, that's just a few more of the chilies. So that was all the chilies out of the front greenhouse. Now we've got ten times that much in the other greenhouse, but they was the last lot. We've probably done about four or five helpings of them. And uh, yeah, that was the last lot of the chilies out of this greenhouse. We was going to take all these tomatoes out, but I just to take a few off, I just, I mean, this is absolutely covered in them. I'm actually being up to cart here and everything with the bloody things. But you know, these are called sun baby. Hang on, bloody plants caught me there. Oh God, where did that one go? These ones are called um, Rainbow Mix F1 Hybrids. Now they, this is the size they grow. They're like a little, it's like a cherry sort of tomato, but they're not, they're a plum tomato and they're absolutely exquisite. The other thing what we've been getting are these um, brandy wines and uh, well, we're gonna leave the, the tomatoes in here for another week. We've got first signs of blight we've seen on them now. So, uh, like I say, another week and um, that'll be the end of these. But, um, they're still producing everywhere I'm looking here. I'm seeing tomatoes all up in the top up here. There's some bloody belters. There's one here. My God. It must be about... What's the size of a uh, cricket, cricket um, ball, anyhow. So there's some really big ones on as well. Um, we're going to leave these well alone and uh, we'll come back to these next week. Uh, we did um, go into the middle greenhouse, we didn't touch the chilies in there, but what we did in there, we took uh, the jack o' lantern um, pumpkin out. We mistook, mistook it as um, a cucumber at first, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and all of a sudden it threw um, these um, pumpkins out. 
they're not very big pumpkins and uh, I, I saw three I thought well I've got four grandkids I've only got three of these bloody pumpkins and yeah when we was removing it out blow me there there was another one hidden on top of the um, got this uh, grow house plastic grow house inside the greenhouse and there it was on the top of it so we got four little pumpkins for four grandchildren so uh, check these out well guys uh, four jack-o-lanterns there got four grandchildren and uh, well it turns out the the smallest one there was in, in the top of the the plastic thing on the on the grow house in the greenhouse so uh, yeah so we got we got four I thought we only had three but we actually got four in there so uh, yeah we've got four um, pumpkins got four grandchildren I can't ask for any more than that and uh, well just thought we're gonna store for another three four weeks before um they give them we're gonna keep them in the the shed in a cool dry place we'll take them there in a couple of, in about three weeks time and let them carve them up however we've got some really big pumpkins um the called atlantic giant and we've got one in particular i'm going to show you now this pumpkin because i don't if someone gets the right the wrong idea it might disappear but it's an absolute stonker of a pumpkin Check this what we're looking out. at here guys is a, an Atlantic giant. It's absolute beauty. Uh, it must be about 50 pounds or so. Um, we won't know until we weigh it. I think we've got another we've got another three or four weeks before it's uh, to come out this so who knows how big it's gonna be. I might not even have the scales to measure this. Uh, I think um, Nora, uh, she's been growing some of these Atlantic Giants as well, and hers are pretty big. I don't know if she's weighed any of hers yet, but uh, if this is still here in three weeks' time, we'll give it a good weigh in anyhow. So let's cover it back up with the leaves. You can only see it from this side, you can't see it from any other, but it's absolute donker of a pumpkin that um, now we did a picture of that 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 video that clip was taken two days ago it's even bigger now <laughs> it's going to be a whopper that by the time the by the time um, Halloween turns up um, it'll be able to fit all the grandkids inside that the way way it's growing so I'm pretty chuffed with that we've got a few others as well there um, so like I said we'll weigh that when we can and see what weight we get out of it be interesting because my records only 25 pound I've never really grow, thought about growing them to be quite honest with you and last year we grew a few um, 125 124 and a half and basically there was next to each other they're both on the same plant so obviously they took the most of the energy away from from each other so they didn't grow particularly big but this one it's growing absolutely, um, it's going crazy, so uh, quite looking forward to, um, to weighing that one. We also um, prepared uh, one of the bat beds, uh, but we had to, the one with had the Kelvin Wonder what had the uh, mildew, well we obviously we removed all them, but we had a load of leaks in there as well, and uh, I was going to take the leaks out a week before, and I wish he had now, because uh, what happened was, um, we got this um, Allian uh, leaf mines, Basically, we've got them, this moth that tunnel bores into them and then puts the grub inside and the grub goes down and basically turns the the leak to mush. Now, it's not just happened on mine. Everyone, all of, along the back and down the middle here, are completely devastated. All, all the leaks have all gone. My mate Larry got had them like this and just did, within, within four days, they destroyed every last one of his. Um, so he's pretty good, he was pretty gutted. As, as was I and as everybody else so yeah um, I think it was Terry King was tell, he was showing everybody the actual grub itself um, on his channel so if you want to have a look at that go and check his uh, channel out guys um, you'll see it I think it was a couple of videos away a couple of videos ago he actually describes it in the in these um, in the um, description on the on the video a yeah, bloody nuisance here so anyhow we cleared them out and we uh, put some horse manure and got to, got, to, got to grips with this bed so here's a couple of clips of what we were doing 
Well, we just put a bit of the uh, spinure there onto the this bed. Uh, we're going to add the chicken manure in a minute, and then we're going to turn it all in later on. Uh, but for now, um, we're just going to take it have a, have a five minutes uh, break. Well, we've uh, added load of um, old horse manure into here. We've added a load of uh, potash into here. We've even added some chicken manure now. So this bed. Is at all intents and purposes almost ready for um, the top dressing of compost which uh, will be coming along very shortly uh, when we remove the chilies um, from the the middle greenhouse all the spent compost is going on here and there'll be a few other bags going on as well so all we've got to do now with that is just add some compost so when we take all the um, chilies out the front green out the middle greenhouse that's where all that compost is going into that bed and then we can plant um we've got some igloo f1 um collies there now i've not looked at them today there was a little bit wilty um, with the sun the other day we did water them. they did obviously help for the picked up but we got some calibres as well and um and um some curly kale We've also um, got some collies what had almost done. Let me just show you them. Well guys, we're going to get a few of these collies for tea. Might as well get them before they, we start losing them all. There's some nice ones there. But, uh, yep, we've already had one or two. So I think we're going to dive in there and get one or two more out. So there, there, we took some out the other day, I never recorded it, it was raining and I just grabbed a few but um, I thought we'll show you what's in there and they're you know, about that big, they're almost ready for taking, in fact I could take, I could have took a couple of them for um, Sunday dinner today, uh, but um, yeah, I'm too bone idle and too lazy and I can't bend down, I get, um... oh someone's got a one of them Strymiosaurus is going, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, we'll, 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 we'll dig them out again, like I said I've got a really bad back, I'll probably get my lad to, to pu pull one or two out, uh, I just I don't even know how I sat down here, I'm lucky I've got this thing to lift myself up on in a bit to get up, I'll be bloody stuck. Yeah we, um, we, we also took some, um, we took the rest of the corn, in fact a bit earlier on I was throwing bricks at um, a bloody squirrel, it had pinched my mates, um, one of my mates' um, corns and run down my path and, uh, well, it got away with the corn uh, but, um, yeah, it's amazing the, 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 the squirrels have had about eight of my corns so far this year and, uh, well, we managed to we, we, we took six or seven home yesterday and, uh, not yesterday, earlier in the week and uh, we took some home, we took the rest of them home yesterday and um, well here they are on the table what you're looking at there is um, is 10 cobs of corn in a total of 25 um, corn we did this year we've had uh, 18 of them uh, squirrels got seven of them still last year um, we ended up with none because someone pinched them all so last year it was uh, basically, I think it was 25 nil to whoever took them. This year it's 18-7 uh, to me. Next year we'll get we'll sort them squirrels out and we'll get the we'll get the full 25. It might be even do 50 next year. I don't know. But yeah, that all intents and purposes, that's the last of the corn. We didn't peel them back, but I assure you, there was absolutely spot on. The missus she. Um, blanched them all and put them straight in the freezer and they look really good uh, what else has been going on this week um, oh yesterday we had the, the general meeting basically the update on what's been happening around the, the allotments chickens talking about getting 12 new chickens because the the chickens what we got the resident the the, um, the allotment chickens are, are not laying so many eggs so they was talking about getting 12 of them uh, we're talking about close, they closed one of the hives down because um, there was attacking people um, so that was closed down it'll be restarted next year I think we've got five hives out of six now going 
and they've had a pretty good year with the honey and the eggs even though they've stopped laying um, it was also at this uh, AGM um, that just uh, what we was doing was pick, picking the new committer now then um, I think there was seven there were three that's left so there were three positions up for grabs and um, there was already seven and they had to vote on them what they did first they voted on the seven who was already there and um, everybody put their hands up to say yeah that's fine we definitely motion carried they're going to continue absolutely um, everybody's got every little bit of faith in them all they've done a wonderful job Mark in particular has stepped in for Alan Alan's had to step back because he that was a chairman um, he damaged his back and um, Mark's took over the reins for now um, while Alan recuperates and uh, he's, he's acting chairman and done a cracking job um, we also got an update on the L for the allotments of um, was it Rosemary? Uh, um, uh, no, it ain't Christina. I always get mixed up. But uh, Christina, she's like the um, the treasurer, and uh, she gives us a rundown of how the place was doing. And it's absolutely doing fantastic. So that was a good sign. Um, Secretary, um, give us an update on how many plots are available and how many plots have um, handed out now. And it turns out, I think there's about, I think there's one or two plots left half plots and the rest of them um, are, are completely gone um, so the, the, I think there's about 99 98 families on here now or, or 90 thereabouts we've got, we've just got two more to fill and that's it and there's a, I think there's a waiting list of about 60 so we got all that lovely information then we um, we decided then to um, to pick the the, the the other three members to join the committee let me just shut this door because oh I can hear a bloody strim off what's that oh god I don't think that made any difference whatsoever but anyhow so um so we there was like three um, um, places on the committee and um, there were five people um, put the, the names forward yeah I was one of them and um, they voted uh, Put names, tick if you want them. Anyhow, um, yeah, I was uh, I was voted uh, to be on the on the committee. Um, Mike from Plot, Potting Along. Now you probably know Mike and Pauline because they do videos on YouTube here. Mike was um, also. Um, Pitts to be on the committee and I think it's Raymond he's only a new young lad new lad um, but is what he brings to to the what he could bring potentially to the committee he was helping one of the um, tenants on here um, for about 12 months before he got his own plot and uh, he's done a pretty good job so yeah he, he was the he was the third person Unfortunately, the two ladies, uh, I would have thought one of the ladies might have got in there. It's a bit sad, really. That was all, all three blokes. Um, girls, a lot cap just as capable as the lads, but um, I think it was the the engineering side um, what did it for, for, for a couple of the boys. Um, unfortunately, that... I couldn't, I, you know, you, they do, they, 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 um, they pick them out and uh, you have to accept. And uh, these this, these girls will, if there's a, a committee space comes up, they get the first bite of the cherry because they get picked out of the hat, who vote what, whichever, and um, they, they join the committee. So who knows? You don't know what's going to happen um, tomorrow. So we they, they might get a... a Get on the committee real soon, and um, yeah, they bring a lot, a lot of good, uh, a lot of um, useful um, stuff to it as well. So yeah, that's that's uh, that was the the meeting yesterday. So yeah, I'm um, on the committee now, so I can um, help. Well, help. It's basically it's a think tank really, the committee. Um, people put suggestions up then we've got to try and find the best way to implement their suggestions really 
and uh, yeah it should be fun I'm not doing nothing these days so that's why I put my name forward uh, the other this last thing I want to I want to show you what a load of faffing about I had about three or four days ago I did a reveal two two buckets of um, I think what they were now um, Maris Piper now we've already had two with these buckets and we had one at ten and a half pound and one at twelve and a half pound absolutely incredible weights but, but we had two more buckets and um, I thought what the hell we'll do it we'll do another reveal so I brought these two buckets up and there was the two buckets what you see what it is where they where the buckets there's about another 25 30 buckets down there but they're all under under this um, sheeting and on top of the sheeting is like this Atlantic giant pumpkin which is completely covered and anyhow we managed to get these two out the side so we got them up here and we um, we did a reveal so we got the, got the get the picture cameras all set up wheelbarrows there bucket in scales everything did the bag did everything perfectly as I thought first bag um, 12 pound 2 ounces up to that point that was the second best I've had so far this year remember I had a, a pound a bag of 12 12 and a, uh, 12 and a half pound that was the best weight so far this year and now gets to the other one now this other one was like lumps all over it I mean it took me about four minutes to get the bloody thing out of the bucket and anyway, we got them out of the bucket we weighed them it comes to 16 pound three three and a half ounces we get some to do all the video editing um, gets the clips looks for it thought well which one is it so I'm looking through and I see this one where I'm walking so I'm doing all the um, getting all the wheelbarrow into place and everything and then you see me walk up to the camera and turn it off I didn't really realize it was recording so instead of turning it on I turned it off so I lost all the bloody footage however we still got the um, the spuds there so what I did is I set the, the I set a couple of net bags up on the shed and uh, we weighed them so here's the two two reveals hi guys well uh, I was going to show you the potato reveals today I've got two buckets of um, Maris Piper and um, we set the the wheelbarrow up uh, earlier on and <laughs> got the cameras rolling did the first one absolutely mind-blowing weight that we had and then we had one more bucket left we thought well we might as well do the the, the other uh, Maris Piper we had two buckets of them left and uh, we did that one and that was even absolutely more mind-blowing the weights that we got absolutely incredible however didn't turn the bloody camera on did I and recorded it and we didn't have record it so Unfortunately, I'm not going to be. To, I'm not going to claim these uh, weights, but I thought we'll show you what we got out of these buckets. Kind of pretty awesome. The first bucket. Uh, well, first things first. I'm going to have to set the camera up, turn it on. And, oh. So I've got two buckets here. We're spuds in. Uh, I don't know. How I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to. Right, we're going to start off with the first bucket, which is this one. Oh, dropped a spud out of there. So we've had to put them in this because it's just too bloody heavy for the, 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 the plastic bags keep getting torn. So this is set up on, on pounds. And, well, I don't know if you can see this. We're going to move the camera in. I don't know if you can see that at all. I think it says £12.14, a £12.1.5 ounces car that, yeah? So that was that, was that uh, particular reveal. Let me just spin the camera around. So now, you think that one's the biggest one? No way. Right, I'm going to put that in the bucket there. Set the scales. Let's pick this one out, but this is even bigger. There we go. £16, 3 ounces. So let's bring the camera in again so you can see. That one is £16, 3 ounces. 
There the buds, uh, the buds, the spuds in there. Let's put the camera back on here again. I'm not used to this new this uh, new tripod that I got. I think that might be the reason why I, I screwed everything up this morning. So that isn't the best weight I've ever had. Uh, it is the best weight of um, Maris Piper, and I think that was twelve and a half. So twelve and a half, sixteen three, sixteen three. It's about 29 pounds, 20, 20, 28 and a half, 29 pound of spuds. So that's not a bad weight, guys, <laughs> by any um, means. I mean, it's an absolute cracking weight. Just gutted that I didn't um, do the video. So obviously these don't count. However, we've still got another 28 buckets. So I just thought I'd share that with you. It was one of them today. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking these all. I'm going to be doing some chips with them and uh, they're great for um, uh, boiled potatoes as well. So, there you go. So, the best weight so far this year was uh, 16 pound, three and a half, call it four ounces, 16 pound four. But we can't claim it because you didn't see the, uh, didn't see the wheel batter. Bloody hell. Shakes his head. But plenty more buckets to weigh, so who knows? We may get there. But these, this, this, these was grown in um, the compost which we took out. We did a few um, of these. What we took out the did ninety percent of them we did in the Murphy's compost. These we did in um, in my compost um, from the compost bin. So I suppose using the you, the stuff what you've been rotting down in your compost bin does pay because these are the best ones so far. I think the I think we had some. I think we had some pent and javelin. Pent and javelin. What was about twelve, eight or twelve? I think it was twelve pound. Uh, there was one that was eight pound and one what was twelve pound. But we got them recorded. We did record these, so these don't count. But I thought I'd share it with you anyhow. Nonetheless, anyhow, thanks for watching. Bit of a botch up, but hey ho, it happens, doesn't it? Bye for now. Well, as you can see, pretty good weights, but we're not going to count them because you didn't see the didn't see the um, the wheel battle. Unfortunately, I can't believe it. And, um, there was in my own compost, the same compost which, which that Atlantic Giants going crazy in. We had no Murphys. We, we run out of Murphys. So what we did, we dug some of this compost out and put two of these uh, Mary's Pine points each of these buckets. And um, well, that was the result. Um, 16 pound three and a half ounces not a bad weight I think when you add all the four buckets together it was nearly 50 pounds so that's um, that's a lesson in itself that so next year I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of these um, potatoes out of my own compost um, because it did really well this year so yeah 30 litre 30 litre pot my own compost out of the compost bin 16 pound three ounces but anyhow, we're not going to count them as a, a, a re, really as a reveal because you didn't see the bloody um, me tipping them out. A bit gutted about that, really. But hey ho, I love making me um, me me potato reveal mistakes. I must every time I do a bloody reveal on them potatoes, I always do something wrong. <laughs> but never the mind. So that's it, really. I hope you enjoyed the um, the episode. Uh, look at some of the things what we've. Um, we've been doing this week and uh, well next week all these will be coming out along here I'll probably end up taking all the chilies out of the other greenhouse as well um, and so I'll show you all that so thanks for watching guys uh, bye for now <laughs>